Hello, good morning, happy Tuesday. How are you all doing today? Uh, let's see, we're live on YouTube. We should be live on Twitch. Hello, Asitsu, how are you? And, uh, oh, if I, okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I popped out the, uh, the Twitch chat. And I try to zoom in on a little bit to make it easier to read, but it also zooms in my dashboard view, which is unfortunate because that makes it really, really um, big and hard to read. Uh, Albert, hello. How are you doing today? Um, all right. So today is all going to be about uh, the LMS, the course, uh, and um, improving improving things like that. So, uh, first off, uh, we need to figure out where to put these. Now, there was a, su there was a suggestion in the beta testing channel uh, that uh, we could... Uh, there was a suggestion in the beta testing channel that I can like, do something with uh, like maybe a, a private GitHub repo, invite them, and then... Um, things in there and i think that like i don't have any better solution right now that's what we're going to go with so that's going to be the first thing is sort of like collating collecting all of the uh the problems problems let's not say problems uh all of the improvements bug fixes and other things that we can do um or if i want to go into like more lean terms unplanned work Albert, uh, you just finished the JS coding camp. Nice. How was it? And how are you feeling about uh, JS and coding after after it? Oh, it's a day where young people come and try to dev. Oh, so it wasn't like one of those uh, boot camps that you see over, you know, around where it's like, okay, two weeks, four weeks, six weeks. Intense studying. You finished the creation of the subject. Nice. Now, I am not logged into GitHub here, am I? No. I need to do that over here. Ooh, okay, hold on. It wants to... Uh... What happened to using my GitHub uh, phone? Like, it used to use my phone, the phone app, to, to do the two-factor authentication. Now it wants me to use uh, my YubiKey. Uh, so hold on, I need to plug that in. It's a chat bot. The participants will need to create the brain. Oh, interesting. I mean, that sounds a lot of fun. Are they actually going to use like AI, like an LLM, or is it going to be more of uh, just sort of um, interesting things that people put in, like if statements, that kind of stuff? Okay, we're logged in here, which means... No, I don't think that I get... What, well, create new project? I don't think that's exactly what I want. Maybe? Okay, let me create a new... I don't, the reason I'm not trying to is I don't know if like GitHub's going to like show bad things on it or not. Okay. It's more like an if forest. Nice. Or like if, in, if, 
Oh, I guess like you could also show off lookup tables. Cause that could that could be a good way to like show off that kind of slightly more advanced feeling. I guess if they know if they know objects, they can do that. But if they don't know objects, then yeah, if forest was gonna have if that's gonna be the only choice, right? Or a switch statement. Let's see, we have team planning, future release. Bug tracker? Okay. I guess there's a whole bunch of different things we could do here. I kind of want to just start from scratch with a, a what do I want to do? A table or a board? Probably a board. Okay, so this is gonna be this project is gonna be um Brooks builds LMS. Okay, I think everything is fine so far. This is what that's going to look like. Now, uh, can I invite people? Manage access. Manage, okay. Oh, okay, so I can invite collaborators. All right, so. Oh, I can't create a group. That's too bad. All right, who did I invite as as beta testers? Albert, are you one of them? I don't remember anymore. Let me look at the, let me look at the beta tester channel. Oh, of course. I've I'm on streamer mode, so all I can see is your first first letter. Yeah, okay, okay, got it. All right, so I will add you in. Let me also ask in here. Okay, so ask that, uh, I want you. And okay, so Albert, you've been invited to that. And I'll invite everybody else as, as we go along. Now, Continuing to take a look at this. We we need I need to to collate all of the all the feedback. So that's gonna be the first thing we do here is uh figure that out. So I guess we'll start these in to do, and I'll rename these and sort of change it to be whatever workflow I want as I as I go with them. So, um, so if I throw that in there now, can I add images in here? I think I can, right? I want. Can I download you? Let's open it. Oh, save image. Copy link to image. Wait, can I oh, edit? Um, image. Is there an image here? I see a link. All right. How do I do images again? It's is it like is it like the bang image? Uh, because I can't remember exactly what it looks like markdown wise. 
Oh, paste drop. Uh, let's see. So if I just throw that in there, that goes to Discord. Is that going to work? No. That's not going to load it. That's just a normal link. All right, I have to go look it up. Mark down the image. Oh yeah, okay, so the bang goes on the outside of it. And then, okay, so the bang, the alt text, and then, and then the URL or the URI. Okay. You already did it for me? Oh, thank you. Um, also, where did I go? There you are. Let me cancel that. There we go. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, so there's that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a reaction to these to show that I've got it added in. Okay, so then you, another one. Okay, so this one, uh, I guess, We'll just add these in first. Now, my initial plan was to do this before stream, but I got really busy and just couldn't, couldn't like actually get myself to do it. Is the image a Discord link? Oh, yes, it is. Wait, those are Discord links. Uh, do they make those expire? If they do, I could just drag it in and, and I think I can just copy it in. And of course, I have um, I'm putting the the title in here in, as the alt text, so I'd be able to find that image again if they do expire on us. You can drag and drop images and GitHub will host them. But yeah, so I have to I'd have to download the image and then I can do that. Okay, and then there's more to this one.
Let's see the badass. Add this in. Okay, if you're reading it correctly, it's only valid for 24 hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's let's see. What I could do then, I have to save the image. And then I can drag you in here. Okay, so we'll do that. So you're done. I'll just have to redo the other ones later. Okay, and then nope, not copy link. I want to save the image. Huh. Yeah, go ahead and replace it. You're in.
Okay. We've got those. Uh, next. Stacking, hello, how are you doing today? Okay, um, these are different things. That's that's one thing. That's another thing. Oh, you're doing good? Excellent. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I don't, when was the last time you you you've been here recently, right? I remember there was a there was a period of time where where you were really busy and and uh, couldn't stop by. And of course, time is weird right now, so I it's weird it's hard for me to remember if that's recent or not recent, which is such a weird thing to think about. After some testing, if the X parameter and URL is actually a hex coded timestamp, then it's actually two weeks. Okay, that's weird. Oh, you got sick around Thanksgiving, then after Christmas. I remember you mentioning that. So you just took, took a hard mental break, so you've been gone for about three months, but he did stop in like three or four times. And I remember you stopping in. I just don't remember when those times were. And I've also seen you on Discord, which further confuses my my poor brain. Because like, I these days, it's just like, wait, what's, am I streaming? Am I not streaming? I don't remember anymore. Like just the, the days flow into each other, it feels like. which is which is fun in a very weird way but time is weird right now
Josh, hello. How are you doing today? You enjoying seeing how I write cards? Need to get a lesson or two? I mean, my 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 card writing right now, I'm not doing these as stories, but as just like I'm just copying in the feedback and I'm probably going to uh we're we're probably going to have to update them to be more make sensey if that makes sense. I guess I can make this. Oh, nope, that was Discord. Make these a little bit bigger. Then they're then then they're more readable. Uh, okay, where was I? Uh, let's see, I did that one. Okay, so I think. So this one also has this in there. Also, Quintessa uh, did a did a mock-up of a new version of the the UI, which is pretty awesome. Um, have a have a good lunch, Stacking. Let's just put it there and there. Okay, and that's everything from that's a, that's all the feedback from from Discord, and then I also have uh, I have a lot of things uh, in another bucket in my to do list, um, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to like necessarily add them in here right now. I might do that later. But okay, let's um let's rename this field to, I'm gonna call this inbox. So I really like to have a single, a single bucket of like things that as they come in unprocessed and sort of figuring those out. That's what, that's what this is. And then as we move them into a true more backloggy backlog or, or whatever we wanna call it, like, I guess then it would be going into backlog uh, or ready essentially, then uh, we'll put them in the, the correct order from there. So let's make this ready. And this could be, I don't know, leave it the same color. Yeah, lots of very good feedback. And then I also have like the other things, let's see, I don't have, oh, I don't have the, um, the app set up over here. I switched my, my to-do system from reminders because it was just driving me crazy. So I moved everything over into uh, a different application that I used years and years and years ago. Uh, have it over here. I guess I can just put it right. Yeah, that kind of blocks my view. I'll put it here and hope that I don't knock it off the table. Uh, it feels steady enough. What's the worst that can happen with this? All right, so I want projects, LMS. Yeah, so I have 25 things in here. Um, oh, I, I guess we can put them in here because we have, uh, there was actually some feedback that made it into here that didn't make it into, into this one. So let's, 
Let's go ahead add these in. So rethink networking is about um I'm going to mark all these done in here as I do them. So our end-to-end -end testing, um, boundary testing, So yeah, hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we're figuring out all of these. Uh, we're, we're gathering together all the feedback. We're gonna order it, process it, and then we can start working on it. Um, did I add in? I feel like I did add in a copy. Yeah, add a copy button to code snippets. So I've got that. Uh, delete courses that aren't available. You're working on a bounty for $200. Nice. Uh, I, I take it that's a security bounty or... The only bounties I'm really familiar with are like the security bug bounties. Oh, you haven't seen the cat in a long time? Yeah. My, my wife is home and whenever she's home or it's really cold, he just stays up in his room and we leave it. We have a heater under his bed and he really loves that. I've thought about trying to bring it down here, but Ironically, he do he doesn't like the heater itself. Uh, so we put stuff on the heater and then then he's happy.
Oh, you're working on open source issue bounty, which says if my PR gets merged successfully, I'll receive the bounty from the bounty putter. Interesting. I haven't, uh, I wasn't aware that those were, those existed. You've already done one of these. And my first bounty was $20. Nice. I, so I imagine that the $200 one is, uh, is a big, is a big one, right? Okay, that's everything that I have over in my other to-do application. So I can turn that off. Uh, oh, weird. Automod, Automod caught a message. Um, have I heard about Cal.com? What's to Cal.com? Also, I'm kind of worried about enabling that because I think it's going to... Nightbot is then going to ban it or, or delete it. But you can see it here. Uh, so what's cal.com? Okay, let's uh, let's start processing these and um, and maybe like changing the names to be like more story-ish uh, to make it a little bit easier to, to read and see from, from this point in time. No issues, you read the message, that's what you needed. Um, okay. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know why Nightbot did that. What was that? Oh, it okay. It didn't catch that one. Oh, it's open source Cal Calendly alternative. Oh, interesting. I've no, I've never heard of it. You could then use the items to create issues in the repo. Yes. Uh, yeah, because I can, I can link. I believe I can link the project, can't I? Uh, I haven't tried that. Hold on. Um, let's close in Discord. How settings? Wait, where where do I link projects? Or where do I link repos? Because like this is not associated with any repo right now. Which is kind of weird, isn't it? And I have no idea where to do that. There's a convert to issue button in the menu. Oh. Oh, I see. Convert to issue, and then we can do LMS. 
wait a second. I have an LMS. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, no. Okay. So problem, I can't convert this to an issue on the LMS because the LMS is a public repo, but this is a private project. Interesting. Should I make this public? <laughs> Sorry, see Ash for for the night bot fun. Oh no, I put the projects in the wrong org. Is that it? No, because LMS lesson. No, wait. Can I move this? Can I move this to? Oh no, I can't. I can make a copy of the project. No. Okay, so hold on. If I copy the project, select an owner, Brooks Builds, copy the draft issues. Okay, trying trying again. No problem, really. I want to sometimes want to argue with bots and AIs, just telling them I'm still the boss. Yeah, that that makes sense. Okay, so now it's like, okay, there, that time it worked. Uh, now I'm on Brooks Bills instead of my personal GitHub repo. Uh, and everything should still be, huh, it reordered all these. That's, that's interesting. But I think it's the same ones because I copied all this stuff. So now if I, let's say I open this up, reduce the WASM bundle size. Okay, so... If I wanted to update the titles to be more of a um, a story, we can say as a um, as a learner with poor internet. Should I say poor internet with slow internet? Um, as a learner on mobile. Oh, right, because this is a new project. Okay, Albert, I'll I'll get you access in a second. Uh, as a learner on mobile or with slower internet, I want to access the LMS um, faster. And so then with this, the description could then be um, reduce. So then there's a couple strategies here. I can say, um, how does this work? Oh, right, cool. Um, reduce Wasm bundle size. On production. Okay. So that would be the things that we can do for that. Uh, I can convert this to an issue with the LMS. Yes, we can do that. Excellent. Um, labels. Uh, I, I've never really liked the default labels that they give out. To me, they don't make that much sense, but like, I don't know, they, they, they probably do. I probably should do like some milestones or something else, but I don't know exactly what to do for that. So then you're good. So now I'm going to move you over to ready. And then that's, this is going to be, we're now going to go like up or down beyond that. Uh, Devanch, hello. How are you doing today? The Rust Analyzer is taking so much time because the cargo check runs uh, from the starting every time an analyzer sucks, sucks at fetching metadata every time. Um, 
for when whenever rest analyzer starts freaking out on me what i usually do is restart the 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 server like restart the the rest analyzer server uh does that work for you if you rest restart it okay so let me... settings again manage access Yep, I need to invite. I don't have your username. Let me go find that again. No, you have to restart the PC every time? Oh, no. Uh, I've never had that problem. So I'm I'm sorry about that. That that sounds really terrible. Usually if things are just not working, I'm able to um what is it called? I'm able to add, what what my brain just blinked out. Uh, I'm able to just restart the LMS. The LMS? The L SP? Yeah, the LSP. And then it just works. Wait a second. Um, okay, only those with, a with access to this project. Invite collaborators. Okay, that doesn't work. How about manage access? No. Wait a second. Oh, you have to be part of... Huh, that's weird. Yes, okay. Uh, for some reason, I can't add you in, Albert. Well, actually, even the let's get Rusty channel guy has team working behind making the rest handlers are more efficient. Um, that's really good. That's that's awesome. So hopefully, hopefully they can uh, help improve rest analyzer, which is which is really good. Of course, like the real problem is that as things get bigger and more complex and more complicated and doing more things, then it's obviously going to be bigger and, you know, take longer and you know, all that fun stuff. Oh, I have to create a team in. Okay. So hold on. All right. Uh, I have to go to the Brooks builds org and create a team. So new team. This will be the um, LMS course beta testers. Okay, team visibility. Yeah, sure. You're you're visible. Team notifications. Sure. Create the team. Add a member. There you go. Invite you. Oh, you're pending. Okay. I don't like this about GitHub. They they have like that pending thing where you have to go into your email and click the button to accept the invitation. Otherwise, you're not in the org. I've always sort of felt that was a little bit weird. But I guess it does help if somebody's like trying to spam add you to a bunch of different things that you don't want to be added to. I don't know. There are recent reports of an issue with the VS Code extension, if that's the issue. Oh, I haven't been using VS Code with REST recently. So I don't know about that. Okay, Albert, you're into the team. Uh, which is great. So now I can go back to projects again. Uh, and wait, what? 
Where's my, where's the project? No, I want to go, okay, just to projects. Go into that. Go to settings, manage access. Now I can add the team. Let's say you have right access and you're invited. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so you should be back in, Albert, to the new team. So here we go. Everything, everything is pretty much the same, except it reordered all my stuff over here, which is great. Uh, all right. I don't know about Rust, so I have to learn Rust first to be the team member. Well, a a good like I guess I guess in this case. Like for for anything with like beta testing type stuff, anybody can really do it because part of it is just like user testing. And I want like a mix of people that are like, okay, I'm taking the courses to learn from scratch. I'm taking the courses to do something else and invite, you know, along along that way. So you don't have to you don't have to like be a, a Rust expert or something to 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 join the team. Although right now it's sort of like a closed team. Where each time we do a course, I'm gonna like then do a, like okay beta testers, let's get some beta testers on, and then that's the time to like shuffle the team around. All right, an ad is starting in around one minute or so. Um, when I made a gRPC server in Rust, I had to add a tonic build dependencies that time. Okay, that's when the Rust analyzer performance was very low, was, was very poor. Do they have a lot of macros? Because Rust analyzer has always gotten really not happy with macros, and the more macros that you have in there, the long, you know, the the worse performance Rust analyzer gets. Sometimes just like completely failing to launch. What did I do? Okay, Mike's back. I I moved the mic closer to me and accidentally jiggled the cable, and that was that was not happy. All right, so let's see. That's that. Next one. That one doesn't really have anything special in there. Um, let's put that above you. Oh, and I can, we can convert this to issue in the LMS. Um, labels, that is again an enhancement and we're good to go there. Okay, add ability to track learner's progress. This might be a like a full project, right? All right, and the ad break just started. I think, Siyash, over over time, we're gonna get better educational systems uh, in place. More tutorials like mine and many others are gonna come out uh, for us to help with with onboarding into Rust and, and getting going. And it's not gonna take years, it's gonna take months and then, then eventually weeks. Uh, of course, we still haven't really done a good job at figuring out how to teach programming from scratch yet. Uh, the best that I've seen is courses that are six months long. 
and I'm not very trustworthy of courses that try to take less time than that. And you see them all the time, like learning, learn programming from scratch. And then, and then what do they do? They only accept people who could probably already get jobs as programmers to begin with. So it's like, eh. Not really all that believable. Um, okay, so this is going to be a project. So um, I'm going to label this as a project or so, and maybe this keeps, I don't know if this will, it was like more like an epic type thing. So plan project, so plan. Because I don't want to convert this to an issue. I don't think so. Like issues should be small, right? That like one one pull request could could close. Okay, so plan project. Um, this would be a allow. Let's just call this project. Allow um, authors to track learners progress 